uh, in town for the weekend, for, uh, as we owe a great deal, and this whole event is made possible by the Goethe Institute, and we really want to thank the Goethe Institute and Annette Rowe uh, for making tonight's show possible and the Stefan Dressler show possible. So please join me in thanking the Goethe Institute. <laughs> Um, and uh, as this past two days, there's been a, a series downtown called 40 Years of Video Art. And to, this afternoon, there was a panel as well featuring Gordon Mihlis and others uh, discussing the evolution of video art over the last four decades. And we were delighted to have the opportunity to have a one-person show with Gordon while he's in town. We had, uh, 10 years ago or so, uh, we had a show called German video art of the 1990s, of which Bjorn Malthus was a guest uh, back, and we're delighted to have him again, and with a variety of work, older and new. So please join me again in welcoming Bjorn Malthus. Yeah, first of all, thank you for inviting me. Uh, it's, a, it's a great honor, uh, because I, the time when I used to live here, in 97, 98, I came to Film Forum uh, quite often, and um, and it was a uh, big inspiration um, to, like, I, was, I spent one year at CalArts. And I think the selection tonight, I mean, has something to do with this fact, because the first two pieces that we just saw um, were my, um, like, first work, has been my first work when I, after my arrival in, at CalArts and, and uh, um, here at the West Coast. and. Um, so, um, Blue Moon, I mean, there's not so much to say. I mean, this is uh, um, before uh, they got three-dimensional in Avatar and <laughs> lost their heads, but... Uh, <laughs> um, no, but, uh, but that was um, uh, one thing, and it, it explains a little bit the strategy of my work. And, uh, um, and with Out of the Blue, it was at that time that I was at CalArts, and, out of the Blue was made specially for Hartmut Bitomsky at that time, and uh, I mentioned that this morning because uh, at some point, for me, it was like studying in Germany, coming to the U.S., joining the school only for one year was not really clear that I have to turn in something or so, and he asked all the students to give him a self-portrait, and uh, I gave him the Smurf, and uh, <laughs> and he was not so happy with it. And, uh, and uh, I think he, he needed some more explanation what it all is, this is all about. And uh, so I did out of the blue in one night, just in my bedroom, and um, mm -hmm. uh, and gave some explanation. And this is uh, this is also quite coded because I'm mean, out of the blue, out of the blue video color. There is a book by Hartmut Tomsky, the Red of the Red of um, Technicolor. Mm -hmm. um, so um, that was the beginning, and um, for uh, the other uh, films that we, or not films, videos, uh, mix, because Auto Center Drive, the second one that we will see tonight, I mean... Second the second one remaining. The second one remaining, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. is uh, partly shot on film, partly shot on video. We watch it on, on video. Um, and, um, and the last one is all on video, but um, uh, I have to say, um, there the, the next one, uh, the oral thing, is was done a little later. We shot Auto Center Drive in the year 2000. Uh, Auto Center Drive was also uh, planned when I arrived in Los Angeles, and uh, the whole project started out in '97 um, when I found this wonderful street. In, uh, up in Valencia called Auto Center Drive, and uh, this is a, that's a perfect title for a movie. Mm -hmm. um, but bef and so it was, the idea was there, I sh we shot everything in the year 2000, but then in between other things happened in my life, and I produced eight other pieces before I finished Auto Center Drive. And, uh, and the next one we're going to see, the oral thing, is one of the pieces, and uh, it sticks a little out of the program, but... Um, uh, some words about oral thing. The oral thing is uh, uh, was made at more at a time when I used to live in New York, and uh, at that time I got really sucked into these daytime talk shows. 
Uh, we all love them and we all hate them, and uh, so do I. And um, uh, and I watched Maury. I mean, all the I mean, the, the language that you hear is uh, taken from the Maury show. And um, but sometimes you, you watch these things and you think, what can you do more? Um, but uh, I always start with the sound editing and, and, and the rest happens after. So uh, I can say more about that in the Q&A later. But, um, and then Auto Center Drive, um, that was, is a 28-minute film. And uh, as I mentioned, um, it all, yeah, it was all shot in Los Angeles and the, uh, the California desert at that time. And um, maybe uh, it deals with identity, with uh, the icons, uh, U.S. American pop icons, and especially like all of them uh, uh, died quite early, um, and they're uh, yeah they live forever because they died quite early. It's a, it's a strange thing. You have to, to be dead to be uh, alive in this other on this other side, in this, um, and this and. Michael Jackson just made it the right <laughs> time, you know? uh, and uh, and some other figures that other characters that show up there. Some there's an Iron Man, the the king of Igumania, and there's a human. Uh, there's more the uh, yeah the altruistic par uh, counterpart of him. And um, I have to say, like later now watching this, I Iron Man and human existed before the iMac and and YouTube. Uh, uh, this all came later because today we live in an I world. Everything is I, me, 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 and um, so there is a uh, there is a second layer, the fight between the I and the you. And um, um, Auto Center Drive is a quite complex uh, film, and I talk about that more later because I think questions will yeah. come up. And uh, and the last one, the meadow was done in 2007 and um, uh, with the Meadow, um, the project that was uh, after seven years of shooting Auto Center Drive, I wanted to have the main character from Auto Center Drive back because I continue with my characters aging from time to time, uh, like after seven years, ten years or so, I, I go back into the costume and then uh, shoot another uh, continuation. and. The meadow is um, starts at the point where Auto Center Drive ends, um, basically in a car, and uh, and is uh, the difference is it's it's a night ride to uh, endless night ride to a forest in a, in a pitch black night, and um, um, Jimmy is still Jimmy. The agents are still the agents, but uh, he. Uh, and Jenny comes up again, another character from Auto Center Drive, and uh, but uh, then he experiences uh, four. There has four episodes, and uh, he experiences four weird, strange uh, things in the forest. That's something um, as I can say. In all my work, um, the language, the dialogues are appropriated. Um, uh, there is a. Uh, a lot of resources for Auto Center Drive. You uh, see that in the credits, and and also in um, not so many in uh, the Meadow, mainly from uh, the movie Bambi. Uh, and yeah, uh, yeah. I say one point. It deals a lot with repetition, and uh, it's it's four episodes and. And, but memory also has something to do with repetition, and uh, it was also at the beginning was done as a loop version. But uh, but then I had this version with titles and credits, and that was an interesting thing because even that was bought by. We had this discussion this afternoon, but even that was bought by French TV, and um, I was quite amazed that they broadcast it. Uh, Probably late, not late time. So enjoy the screening. Uh, I will be here afterwards. We'll see you at the end of the yeah. show. Thank you.